we've got right here is the new HTC One. That's the new top end, top of the line smartphone from HTC from Taiwan. And it's a 4.7 inch touchscreen phone running a full HD display. So the pixel density is up to 440 something pixels per inch. And as you might can see, I don't know really if the camera can work that out. Um, the screen looks gorgeous. It's decently bright and it's really, really good. Um, I think this is laminated to the cover of the screen. So there's basically no uh, space between the screen and the, um, the touch screen and the cover. And yeah, let's take a quick look around. Up here we have a notification LED plus a brightness sensor. That's a speaker right here, and there's a speaker down here too, which is something um, they're using huge speakers on the phone uh, because they have integrated something that's called um, boom sound. That's blasting it up to 93 decibels, and it's really loud. They tried it out in the demo, but I can't really show it to you because it's there's a meeting in the other room. Um, but it's louder than the iPhone by far and it's got decent sound. There's even, even kind of bass in there and it's clear, crisp, good sound. Um, right next to the speaker is a 2.1 megapixel camera. Um, there's a back button down here. While you use that thing, you can actually switch between something they've integrated that's called a blink feed. That's a new home screen or replacement for a home screen because it really isn't a home screen. Uh, they said we want to get away from the home screen and that's what they're basically doing. It looks kind of like the life tiles on Windows Phone, but it's not. It's basically a feed of everything that's coming down from the internet. So up here we have the weather and the time, but the time and the weather and everything else moves out of the screen when you scroll down. You pull it down and it updates. There's a search function too, and you can actually uh, post stuff from there. And below that, this is a news feed right there, different sources. In this case, there's a couple of German news sources, but there's also Facebook updates coming down. Somewhere down here, it starts out with Facebook updates. There you go. As you can see, there's a Facebook update and another one. Uh, plus, in the end, you get this kind of a widget for uh, the calendar. And this right here is a menu where you can actually set up the feeds and services that you actually want to have in the uh, in the Blink feed. Uh, now let's get back to the hardware. Two gigs of RAM. There's a Snapdragon 600 Qualcomm chip in there. That's a new one. It's a really, really fast. It's a quad core. It's running at 1.7 gigahertz. I did another video where you can see some benchmarks. Uh, we'll make sure to have it posted for you. Uh, gets up to 12,000 points in Quadrant, which is really, really freaking fast. My Nexus 4 can't even closely keep up with that. The phone is 9.3 millimeters thick. It weighs 142 grams. It's made of one piece of aluminum that they're actually taking 150 hours per phone to actually just make the casing. Uh, it's basically all covered in aluminum on the back but there's this tiny strip right here where the, the the antenna sits and there's a tiny mic right there and they have another plastic line line here which i guess is also for the antenna there's beats audio in there um let's take a quick look around another thing this is the uh ir ir blaster it's not only the on and off button but it's actually red and transparent so there's an IR blaster integrated into the power button which you can use to actually control any TV or a stereo system or whatever uh, you can actually control the normal remote control with the phone They're, they have a special app for that and next to the IR blaster or power button we have the headphone jack on the right we have a volume rocker made of aluminum and on the bottom, there's a tiny mic right there and the USB port. Uh, up here, this is the camera. There's an LED right there, LED flash. It's got an f2.0 lens. And what's special about this is 
HTC is actually market, marketing this as an ultra pixel camera. It's not what was um, purported, purported in the ahead of the release, which was that there's like three layers of pixels, blah, blah, all that kind of stuff. Nope. Um, they're using a sensor that is basically the same size as on any other phone, but the pixel size, the size of the individual pixels is actually four times as much as on the other phones. So they managed to catch more light using this wide lens and it's supposed to make shooting at low light conditions better, cut down on um, the bad pixels that you get from normal cameras like the, the blur and everything else. Making sure there's an, uh, a good quality on the pictures is what they're doing it for. And it's got a mechanical optical uh, image stabilizer and yeah, the camera is actually capable of shooting video at 1080p and taking pictures at the same time. So they're doing a lot of stuff with the camera. They have this special software called HTC Zoe in there. Um, I don't really have time because they're actually kicking me out right here right now. Um, the phone is LTE uh, capable, it's 3G capable, it's got N Wi-Fi, NFC is in there, Bluetooth 4, um, pretty much everything you expect from a typical uh, high-end phone right now. The battery is actually a 2300 mAh battery which is supposed to last, uh, what are they saying? They're saying 17 hours of talk time on 3G and up to 26 hours on GSM only. Um, so I think you'll get through the day and yeah, check out our other videos that we're gonna do about the software stuff and